Hello, Nuggets. Are we recording? Yes. Okay. Um, so, last night... Oh, it's bright. Mm, that won't work. No. All right. Last night, we went to a party for a company called Metamorphic Films. Um, I've done some work for them before, uh, usually just PAing and stuff. No, always just PAing. Like, I've been a grip on one. I was uh, a sound operator on another. Lighting kind of... It's PA, right? I just kind of help out and set. And they make independent films, and um, they call in favors from friends, and they ask people to help out. And I always say yes, because I love doing that stuff. And I like saying yes, to be honest with you. I really enjoy saying yes. That's how I do things in my life. Just someone asks me, I go, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so unless it's going to a party, ironically. But I decided to go because I need to start socializing more. I came to this realization that when I lock myself away in my room and I just write and sit on my computer and live this very isolated world where it's just me and Laura and the dogs, it's just this tiny little world. And I do that because I don't like socializing very much. I'm a little, I'm an introvert. You know, I appear to be an extrovert when I go out, but that's because it takes everything in me to get me there. So I'm kind of hyped up, but actually that wipes me out and I don't want to go out again. So anyway, I'm realized as a writer because I don't socialize when I lock myself away my characters suffer I'm not as good of a writer in fact I might even type title this video writers must socialize or something like that because I think it's an integral part of what we do especially if you're writing plays if I'm writing plays I need strong compelling characters that the audience want to understand and learn about and it needs to be an authentic character if I immerse myself in television and plays and books and radio and whatever else, I'm learning about character, but I'm, I'm going to be creating facsimiles or photocopies of other writers' characters, right? I'm, I'm interpreting someone else's interpretation of a character. It's twice removed from the source, and I think my work suffers. I have to go meet these people. I have to go engage the world in order to write the world. You know, and I came to that realization. I came to realization that I've got to start socializing. There's other things as well. I've got to start motivating. I'm kind of in this slump. You know, um, I have a great life, but it's just passing me by. I'm kind of happily standing on the sidelines, waving it as everything goes by. I need fucking pick up the gear. I'm not dead. I'm only 50. Not even 50 yet, but soon to be 50. So I'm starting to go out improving my writing and all of that. And one of the reasons I want to do that is I set a goal for myself. Now, I'm not a goal-oriented person. I don't work that way. Um, I have a higher version to it, which is odd in this house because Laura, is everything is about goals. Her entire life is goals. She has them on her board. She writes them down. She tells people about them. She's a very goal-oriented person. Objective achieved. That's what she goes for, you know. Um, whereas I don't do that. I just say yes and open every door and one looks interesting, I walk through it, you know. Um, but it's not serving me well now. It's served me well for the first 40-something years of my life. Apart from the weight, it served me well in my career. Just kind of going with the flow, getting on with people, people liking me, me liking them, and someone says, hey, come on, do this, you get paid really well. It just kind of happened. Well, that's not happening anymore. And I need to put, I need to change that. I'm towards the tail end of the work years, right? When people don't want you as much. I can get a job. I'm not saying I can't get a job. But it's limited. It's, it's more limited. And if I want to do it on my own, I need to change my approach. And I think about a year ago, I started thinking, okay, what if I did have a goal, you know? Um, so I thought about it for about a year. And about six months ago, I said it. And I didn't tell anyone, even Laura. Because it was just in my head. And honestly, it was such a ridiculous thing. I felt embarrassed to say it. Because if I'd have said this goal, if someone had said this goal to me 10 years ago, I'd have gone, huh, yeah, good luck with that, mate. I'd have laughed. I mean, I wouldn't. I'd have been nice about it. But inside, I've been thinking, oh, the fuck, who's this guy think he is? But I can't think like that anymore. So the goal, I can't believe I'm saying this on camera, but the goal is, I would like to win a Pulitzer Prize for playwriting. That's my goal. Now, there's a lot of things in the way of that. One is talent. I don't think I'm good enough, right? Um, two is motivation and discipline. I haven't got either of those. 
uh, three years, it's really fucking hard to win a Pulitzer. It's not, it, that's really hard, you know, it's an extremely hard thing to do. And if I never get there, at least the journey will be filled with motivation and inspiration and passion and drive and me not being dead. So I set myself that goal. It's what I want to do. I love playwriting. I think I'm a good playwright. Not a great one. Certainly not Pulitzer winning. But, you know, I've been reading. I've been going to the theatre a lot more. Uh, I've seen more plays this last year than I'd seen in the last 15 years combined since I kind of left the theatre behind. Well, now I'm getting back into it. The last year I've seen, I don't know, a lot of plays. Um, and I'm reading plays and I'm reading scripts and I'm immersing myself in the work. And I think, yeah, I think I'm a pretty good writer. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. I, I can think I can hold a candle to most of these people who are making careers, right? Now, I can't hold a candle to the Pulitzer Prizes, to the Tracy Letts, to the August Williams, to the, you know, um, Sam Shepherds, right? But that's a good goal. I don't think those guys would have thought that either. They never would have thought they were going to win a Pulitzer Prize, right? They were just writing. And it's not that I need to get accoladed for it. It's just a goal. It's just a goal. And probably is a part of me, a pride. Like, I want to be able to say, look, I achieved. I succeeded. Because I kind of feel like I can do that with gaming. I did well. You know, I wouldn't tell anyone about it because I'm too embarrassed to do it. But I did well in gaming. I bought a house, you know. My games have sold, not my games, but the games I worked on have sold, you know, have made billions and billions of dollars. So, yeah, I did well. I've written stories that people still talk about, you know. So, I've succeeded in that. I'd like to do it in playwriting. So, I've got to change my opinion about the way I work. So, I set this goal. Um, and then, so now I need to be analytical about how to get better at what I do. And this would be true for no matter what I was doing. But in writing, the thing I need to improve on more than anything is I'm really good at plotting. Very good at plotting. Like, I can see and structure a story really well. The problem is when it comes to writing, the characters, sometimes the voices can kind of mix in. And sometimes it's not authentic. Even if I have a good character voice, it feels a little inauthentic. Which is also why I'm trying all these experiments of writing scripts in a few days that's still going on by the way i'm just not counting the days where i don't touch the script where i do something else but trying to write a script quickly i thought of another method method the other night that i'm going to try i'm seeking i'm trying to find new ways to get better at my writing and faster at my writing um all in the name of this goal and if i didn't have this goal i don't know if i would do that it's changed my writing i'm a, I'm a better writer now because i'm I've secretly held this goal, which is just ridiculous to anyone else. But I'm like, fuck it. It's out there now. Let's go for it, you know. So anyway, that's uh, why I've been going out. That's what I want to do. I want to win a Pulitzer Prize. I don't know whether I would name this video, I want a Pulitzer Prize. I could. I could look back on it and laugh. Why not? Fuck it. Why not? That's what I'm going to name it. I've got to get rid of this shame. It doesn't do anything. This embarrassment and this this humility and you know I don't want to be seen but want to be seen it's ridiculous and annoying um I'd like to win a Pulitzer Prize so that's what I'm working on I'm going to become a really good playwright and hopefully one day it will be good enough to win that prize there is how and it all started with going to a party this whole video started with me going to a party where I met lots of people who were in the doing that's what it was about that party as well it wasn't just going out and meeting characters I'm meeting these people whose lives are on the up. That they're making shit happen and it made me realize, events like this have made me realize, what am I doing? I, I'm fading away. Why am I fading away? I have a lot more to do, but I'm just kind of disappearing. I can't do that. I got a friend called Tegan who's always been motivated and inspirational. But he recently moved to New York and now he's working with the Nederlanders and he's got a show opening at Carnegie Hall and tell me something else, another show on Broadway. And he's got rights to different things. And like he's, he's in his life. He's an exception. He's, he's an exceptional person who's always doing that kind of stuff. But I'm listening to him and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm just floating through life. I need a goal. So now I've got it. All right, I'll, I'll show you it when I've won it. See you, Nuggets. <laughs>